Yo, what up Street Dogs there, Kim, all right, the thought. The thought is about mental hygiene. So now with COVID and stuff like that, it seems like the new mode of life is you know, towards a more hygienic society, which I think is a really good thing because dude, some of these fools, like uh, every time I go to a public restroom or out of the gym, man, guys are hella, uh, I can't speak for women, right? Guys are hella gross, like so many dudes like taking a dump or you know taking a piss, don't even wash their hands, I'm like, or don't use soap, and I'm like, yo, that's just gross. So hopefully, you know, post COVID, you know, a more hygienic society is gonna be uh, a better society. But anyways, so, we talk a lot about hygiene, and I know that like I'm washing my hands like a motherfucker right now. It's like I wash my hands probably 50 times a day, and I was wondering, hmm, what is hygiene, and how does it even pertain to let's say mental hygiene? Because I think we tend to think about bodily hygiene, but rarely do we think about mental hygiene. So I, I did some research on the word hygiene. Uh, I go to wiktionary.org. It's probably my most used website. And I did a little history on the word hygiene. It's like, what does hygiene mean? And where... So essentially, the, it comes from ancient Greek, like hygiene or something like that. Essentially, it means the art or the technique of hygiene. And to me, this is actually very interesting because if you think about hygiene, kind of like a technique or an approach, what that means is... There is a certain technique and approach to have more, to have superior mental hygiene and also physical hygiene. And you know, what does even hygiene mean? It comes from health. What does health mean? Ancient Greece essentially means like long life and strong health, whatever it may be. So for me, health is kind of more of a physiological phenomenon. The stronger you are, the better. Right? So, what is, what is we to do about thinking about hygiene and stuff like that? So, first and foremost, when it comes to hygiene, you know, obviously mental uh, physical hygiene is very important. We, we've learned that lesson the hard way. But now, let's think about mental hygiene and how does that mean? So, mental hygiene to me is um, essentially like don't let nothing infect your mind so they talk about like infectious diseases but they never talk about like, infectious people or they never talk about infectious news so anything that fucks with your mind is telling me bad and i know for myself anytime i put on the news or something like that i get a huge hormonal cascade of like stress hormones like cortisol nonephrine and all the bad stuff but also the weird thing about the news is that not only does it give you a rush of um you know, stress hormones. I think it actually does give off some dopamine too, because like there is a little bit of Schadenfreude or the the joy of others uh, suffering, or also like maybe the joy that like is not as bad for you. So, for example, when a lot of people read the news, you know, more people dying in other countries and stuff like that, like it's kind of this weird cocktail of both fear and also pleasure because you know, fearful because that sucks. You know, you don't want that to happen to nobody, but pleasurable in the sense that. Um, it makes you actually feel ironically safer when you see other people are dying in other countries and you're okay and your, your family's okay, then you actually feel safer. But anyways, so essentially we get addicted like crack cocaine to the news. And so I've made it my personal goal to like, and since 2014, I just stopped reading the news and um, Nassim Taleb has a nice aphorism and better procrustis to cure yourself of the news. Uh, spend a, a year reading last year's news and so even uh, to better understand like today's race politics and stuff like that I'm actually going back in time and uh, rather than looking too much at the the George Floyd stuff I'm actually looking more at the the Trayvon uh, Martin case and um, uh, The Zimmerman case to better understand the context or even to just understand like world politics better to go really really back in history study Thucydides history of the Peloponnesian War and so forth um, Pericles and his uh, funeral orati oration are, are, are good resources too. So what is we to do about mental hygiene? So I, I have some very simple pre uh, prescriptions. It's first like quit the news. And it's not like, I don't even think it's fasting from the news because that assumes you're gonna do it again. I would just say quit the news. Just like stop reading the news, stop following social, stop reading websites. And the problem about all the news 
if the news makes money via advertising, you can never trust it. I think it's actually much more robust to just like talk to people on the street or like go to your local county website or government website or wait for the text messages from your local, you know, city, county, whatever, telling you what to do. So like even nowadays with the noise, 99.99% .99 of it is, is, is noise. And having more access to more information doesn't actually mean you're more informed. Uh, sometimes we get uh, suckered by uh, fooled by randomness, so too much chaos happening is actually kind of bad for us. And um, and I think the the weird thing about social media and too much news now, and the the weirdness of the internet. I think this is why more and more people are starting to believe in conspiracy theories. They're just kind of getting like fooled by randomness, and you know, some some people I think are almost too good at spotting patterns, which kind of allows them to get suckered by the news even worse. But anyways, so mental hygiene, cut out negative people from your. And then if you think about it from like purely like a disease epidemiology perspective, you know. Toxic things like toxic people, you know who those people are in your life. Like I cut out my dad, I've been a quadrillion times better with the mental hygiene, cut out social media, cut out all social um, stuff on the internet. Um, I don't read comments, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I deleted my Instagram like three years ago, which has been the best thing for me too. Um, you know, for the most part, I don't, I don't use the phone either. So. Um, as a consequence, my mind feels clear and I could more focus on what's really important to me. And, and you know, and I, I like to also think historically too because, you know, studying ancient Greek stuff is, is very useful in the sense that like, what is we to really, really think about? To me, I'm more interested in courage, bravery, uh, heroism, um, you know, helping out those who are less fortunate and helping out those in need and stuff like that. and. I think the way that modern society is, you know, running, especially with technology. And you know, I don't really think anyone is I don't I don't believe in any conspiracy theories. I think it's just it's just like the unfortunate consequence of uh, technology is that uh, there's so many upsides of technology and modern day things and I'm very pro technology, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Like you you have fire you could use it to heat your house and cook your meat, or you could use it to burn down someone else's village, right? So it's, it's, it's a really tricky uh, thing for us to, to consider and think about how to best live life. My practical suggestions, once again, just quit the news, see what happens, talk more to real people, walk outside, um, you know, in terms of just like hygiene and stuff like that, you know, protect yourself from COVID, put on a face mask, or keep, what, I, what I'm doing is I observe the 30 foot rule. It's like when you're walking on the streets, try to stay 30 feet away from people, which is like a school bus. So, you know, if I'm walking on one side of the street and I see somebody on the same street coming to me, I cross the street and I go on to the other side. You know, I'm still friendly. I wave hi to people and stuff like that, but focus on both your physical hygiene, your mental hygiene, your, your mental hygiene actually might be more important than your physical hygiene. So just some thoughts to consider.